like this video in the next five seconds or a legend will come and vip you the next time you have a massive win streak i would not risk it what is up youtube it's your boy jbt back with another bang man and today i'm gonna teach you guys a glitch that will allow you to go on a massive win streak in nba 2k20 for my loyals that have been subbed you probably know i was recently on a 50 four game win streak live on stream it was crazy we had hundreds of people in the park we had big youtubers pulling up it was so much fun now if you are interested on going to the street just like this or even bigger make sure to watch the full video because i'm going to be teaching you guys a simple glitch and strategy that will let you go on massive win streaks so make sure drop a like subscribe if you're new turn on noties and let's get straight into this banger man all right, now the first thing is to go into the daily spin room. And I know you guys are gonna be like, JBT man, what the does my daily spin have to do with me going on massive win streaks? But trust me on this, and you guys can thank me later. All you gotta do is find a rookie, preferably a rookie one. And once you find a rookie one, all you gotta do is basically stalk the shit out of him until he leaves. So basically, I'm gonna wait until he's done his daily spin. And basically, you just wanna remember his gamer tag or you know a PSN or whatever it's called on PlayStation and once he leaves you're gonna want to search him up and if he's appearing online all you gotta do is join his park once he leaves the daily spin room and what you guys will see in a second is you're gonna be placed in a park with basically all rookies now look I don't do this because it's boring as shit like just dropping off rookies all day but if you really want to go on a big win streak or maybe you're not that good at the game and you want to get some practice in then I would highly recommend doing this and now that we're loaded in, we could look and see that there are 19 rookies in this park. And in normal park, they're usually about one or two. Keep in mind, we are eight months into the game. There are legit more rookies and superstars in this park. And there are zero legends. Now, if we go look at our boy Silent Storm from the Daily Spin, we could see he's in the park. And he has an insane win percentage, bro. All right, so now that you're in Easy Park, I'm gonna give you guys my top five tips on how to win every game. Trust me, you don't wanna skip over this part of the video because these tips will really help you out. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have boosts and Gatorade for every game that you're planning on playing during your win streak. I know, I know, you guys wanna keep your precious VC to buy your clothes and other things, but don't worry guys, because after your massive win streak, you're gonna make back all the VC you spend on these two things and much more, especially if you're playing this stage. And this could really end up being the difference maker between losing on a 20 streak or going on a 50 streak. Because if the game is 19 all, the last thing you want is a shot clock down and your player out of energy. So make sure to buy both Gatorade and boost. Number two is to make sure to not try and streak with randoms because you never know if they are serious about going on a big streak and you don't know how they play. You, won't, you also won't have any communication with them, which is really important so you can talk about when to switch, when not to switch, or what you're planning on doing on offense. It's also just way more enjoyable to streak with somebody you're boys with. Like, do you really want to be on a win 30 streak, get an invite to a party, just to find out you've been streaking with some 56 year old father gamer this whole time? Probably not. So make sure you hit someone up your boys with because that will help you make your win streak way more enjoyable. And not only that, you are way more likely to win your games if you know how your teammates play. Tip three is very simple. And you want to know what it is? It's just play with IQ. And I know this might sound simple at first, but I see so many people make mistakes that are easily avoidable. And if you just avoid these mistakes, it will allow you to win way more games. Stuff like don't reach when the shot clock's down. Take smart shots. If you lose your dribble, don't panic pass. Be patient. Wait until your teammate comes and gets the ball from you. And guys, for you guys that are trying to go on streaks on the threes court, make sure to be taking way more three-pointers than you are two-pointers two because it's loser's ball. Also, be aware of the score because if you're on the threes and you're losing 2018, for example, you're going to want to try your best and get a good shot from three because if you don't, your opponent can win the game with any basket. So just simple basic adjustments you can make that could be the difference maker between going on a smaller streak and a massive streak number four is very simple but often overlooked and that is make sure the lineup you're running makes sense if you're running twos for example make sure if you're playing on ice wing you're running with a wing who could shoot 
I see a lot of good players who unfortunately run with lineups that don't really fit their playing style. So make sure you're smart and pick a lineup that will help you win games. Also, make sure to pick badges that will help your teammates. If you're running with an interior finisher, for example, use badges like Lob City Passer and maybe Needle Threader. If you're running with a wing, then use Dimer. So make sure you equip the right badges before you hop on the court for your streak because you definitely won't have time to change them after. The final tip of today's video, one of the most important tips, is just end games fast. The reason this is so important is because even if you're up 19 and 2 and you're playing bums, they could just start getting bailed out like crazy, man. I see it all the time. All of a sudden, they get takeover, start making 100% coverage. So you just never know what could happen and you don't want to joke around too much. If you're serious about streaking, just take care of business. Also, the ducking games in this community is ridiculous, so the more time you take to end games, if there are people on the dots, you're giving them a lot of time to potentially run away from you or find a different game, and that's definitely not what you want. So if you're trying to rack up a massive win streak, end games as quickly as possible and don't joke around. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you made it this far, comment easy streaks. Remember to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss other glitch videos and helpful tips. Also, remember to follow me on Twitter at GamingJBT so you know when I'll be live, streaming, and post videos. Anyways, until next time, it's your boy JBT, and I'm out. Peace.